to the Essential. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'd like to film um, my how to spot a fake Delina by Parfum de Mali. And so I have three versions here. One is the original, the one, uh, another one is probably a fake and uh, a third one is definitely a fake. I don't know if you can already tell from looking at them. Um, if so, you're very good because it is, um, with the obviously fake one, you'll see there are some some definite uh, factors that you can tell right away. With the probably fake one, it is a little bit harder, um, especially if you can't smell them. And um, since on the internet there are so many niche perfumes, designer perfumes circulating that are not original, I wanted to give you some hints and tips um, to see what you look for um, when you check for for authenticity in perfume. And this is specifically for Delina for, uh, from Parfum de Mali. Okay, so I'll start with unpacking those and showing up close. So the first one I can tell you already is an authentic and we'll use this one as a reference. So this one is definitely authentic and there is um, not much we need to look at here but we will compare this with the other ones I'll unpack these off camera So I'll give you some general um, tips um, that if you have the fragrance in, in front of you, to obviously the first and most important factor is the scent. So if it smells acidic right from the start before you even open the, oh, before you even spray the bottle and it has a very synthetic uh, vibe to it, it is very, very likely that it is inauthentic also if you spray it and it does smell a little different or even similar but it's very faint and fleeting that is another very um, big indicator for inauthenticity okay so let's compare the boxes first So for the authentic one and one of the inauthentic ones, you can tell, I'll take off the cellophane. That the color is a little bit off. There's just a slight difference in the color. So, this one is a little bit more rosy, which is the original, and this one is a little bit more, um, I would say, um, um, terracotta, or a little bit more orangey. It is very slight difference, same with this one. The difference is more noticeable in person, so this one is a little bit darker, a little bit rosier. This one is a little bit lighter, lighter looks more bleached out. And then on the back, other, everything else is pretty similar, as you can tell. The logo. But then here on the back, we have another, we have two inconsistencies here. So when you look 
closely at the description. On this one, on both, I don't see any inconsistencies for this. But when I compare with this one, you obviously have a different address here. And then I also had noticed um, a spacing issue. There was an extra space in the description of this one that was not supposed to be there. Other than that, the boxes are similar, so... Yeah, I also notice a slight difference in the font here. The font is a little bit more pronounced, and here it is a little bit thinner in this section. Yes. So this is the original, this is a probably a fake, and this is definitely a fake. Same thing, the address is different on this one. And so looking at the at the bottles now. Oh, also the top for the top there is no no difference on these. This is the original what it's supposed to look like. One of the fakes and the other one of the fakes. Now let's go go ahead and take a look at the fragrance bottle itself. So you'll see that the original, the color is rosier. This one looks a little bit more bleached out. And this one as well. Same with the tassel. The tassel is rosier. Here it goes lighter and lighter. And then when you look at the pouch, the pouch is lighter on the original. This one came with some imperfections and dirt on it, and this is rosier and that's also a fake. So from left to right are original to fake. The back has the Parfum de Mali writing. As you can see on the original, it is consistent, stamped into or engraved into it. On the one of the fakes, it is very faint and inconsistent writing. So some is more pronounced, some is more faint. On the other fake, it is too pronounced. Definitely looks different than on the original. And now the stones on top, they look nearly identical. You can just tell that the original has more facets to it. The probably fake one has a lot of facets to it and the absolutely fake one has few fa fewer facets to it. the batch code. Having a batch code is not necessarily a sign of authenticity. Obviously they can just label on a fake one. 
and so there is another inconsistency here when you look at the code this is obviously um, this is the original here it does not say Delina it has just uh, the company or the niche brand name Parfum de Mali on top the probably fake one has Delina on top and then the definitely fake one does have a yellow font and the tape is sticking out from the from the bottom of the bottle a bit and it also has the, the, a different address like it was shown on the box as well and now let's look at the details on the bottle itself here those details are very fine and carved out on this one the details look a little bit more um, I would say sloppier just a tiny bit especially close up and in person you'll see a little bit of a white cast or something around the embellishments and that white cast is very pronounced on the obvious fake one there are like white lines around the embellishments showing poor manual work on this okay so let me just compare and point out the most important things again so regarding uh, we took, took a look at the scent the box and the bottle let me just recap everything so if the scent is acidic um, right out of the box without even spraying it um, and has a synthetic uh, or a very faint fleeting and different smell that is a clear indication that it is a fake then the box uh, it has misspellings or wrong capitalization even wrong addresses um, the sticker is cheap or just um, a different color of font from the original then uh, batch code missing can be um, a clear indicator um, having a batch code is not necessarily an indicator that it is authentic then the box color might be off um, especially when it was uh, in cellophane packaging um, it's not supposed to be bleached as fast so that is an indicator then also the details um, the logo is it engraved is it not does it have a slight sheen to it is it matte those, those are all things you want to look for then to the bottle um, if it has a magnetic uh, cap which is not the case here uh, and in the original but it's non magnetic on uh, the one that you have then that's a clear indicator also look at the tube is it thicker and more noticeable that's a clear indicator for a fake the bottle color being slightly off sprayer um, looking cheap or just not dispensing c consistently murky glass on the cap especially and imperfections on the details in general then also another thing if you um, buy online look at the seller's feedback if um, Every, even when everything seems fine and there are a lot of positive reviews also those can be fake so take a closer look at them um, if they mention factory seconds that is very a big red flag um, factory seconds I mean I don't I cannot imagine that Parfums de Mali um, or any other high-class niche brand um, or higher-end niche brand I should say uh, puts uh, factory seconds into the stream of commerce so that is very unlikely and then look also for photos from the actual uh, perfume that we would get and um, request photos from all sides the bottom um, the right the left side the top um, and so the front the back you want as many photos as possible and also confirm that that is the the version that you would be getting okay so that is all for today. I hope this was helpful.
Oh, another thing I wanted to point out here with the obvious fake, you'll see um, in, at the tassel, the way the, the tassels are tied, it is just very unneat and it has those kind of remainders sticking out. So that is another big indicator. Okay, so again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you stay tuned. I have another, I have actually several more um, how to spot a fake fragrances coming up. And um, yeah, hope this was helpful. Thank you and you have a great day. Bye.